So let's see, it's been a while since we read a book. Let's try this one, Harry and the Lady Next Door. The Party. Harry was a white dog with black spots. He loved all his neighbors except one. He did not love the lady next door. The lady next door sang. She sang high and loud, and when she sang, Harry's ears hurt. She sang higher than a peanut whistle. When she sang, the peanut man put his hands over his ears. I bet a peanut whistle must be very shrill and loud. She sang louder than the siren on the fire engine. When she sang, the firemen put their hands over their ears. He sure did. Oh, I bet she sounded sort of like that. She sang higher and louder than the cats sang. When she sang, the cats ran away. Ah, Figaro, 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 Figaro. Let's see here. Harry tried to make her stop. He howled under her window. His friends howled too, but it did not do any good. The lady next door went on singing. She sang higher and louder than ever. Figaro, 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 Figaro. One day, Harry's family gave a party. They invited the lady next door. She came with her music. When she started to sing, Harry almost bit her leg. Figaro, 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 Figaro. But he bit the leg of the piano instead. The family sent Harry out of the room. You are a bad dog, they said. Harry just wagged his tail. Hmm. As he walked to the door, some people said, Poor Harry. But others whispered, The lucky dog. Why do you think they thought he was lucky? When Harry pushed the door open, the wind blew in. It blew the pages of music off the piano. They blew all around the room. Everyone tried to catch the music, but no one could. The pages blew out the door and into the garden. They blew over the fence and up into the trees. Harry caught some of the pages, but he did not bring them back. He ran away with them. Harry's first try. He ran until he came to a quiet spot. He dropped the music and lay down. Soon he fell asleep. In a little while, something woke Harry up. Hmm, what woke Harry up? All around him were cows mooing. They mooed very low notes. Harry listened. He thought the cows made beautiful music. He had never heard anything so soft and low. He wished the lady next door would sing like the cows. Suddenly Harry had an idea. He rounded up all the cows. He barked at their heels. Down the road they went. Harry barked and the cows mooed. Ruff, ruff, moo. Ruff, ruff, moo. They ran on and on. They ran down the main street of town. They passed the school, the library, and the firehouse. <laughs> when they came to Harry's house, the lady was still singing. Harry ran ahead and stopped the cows. They went on mooing. They mooed and mooed and mooed. They all mooed soft and low. The cows mooed for a very long time, but it did not do any good. The lady next door went on singing. She sang higher and louder than ever. Moo, figaro, 
it all, pick it all, pick it all. Harry's family called the man who owned the cows. He came and took them home. He does not look happy. That night, Harry slept in the doghouse. He was in trouble. Harry's second try. The next day, the lady sang some more. Harry's ears hurt more than ever. He went for a walk. After he walked for a long time, he heard a beautiful, wonderful sound. Oompa, oompa, oompa. It was low and lovely. And Harry saw what it was. It was the big horn in the fireman's band. The big horn was even softer and lower than cows mooing. Harry walked along listening. He wished the lady next door would sing like the big horn. Then he saw the leader of the band. The leader threw his stick in the air. Harry watched it. Suddenly he had an idea. The next time they went into the air, Harry caught it. Harry ran in front of the band. The leader ran after Harry and the band ran after the leader. What is he doing? Soon the leader was all out of breath. He stopped running, but the band ran after Harry. The men played as they ran. Harry led them all down the main street of the town. They passed the school, the library, and the firehouse. Harry's leading the band. Harry stopped the band in front of the lady's house. She was still singing. The big horn player played even softer and lower than before. He blew and blew and blew right under her window, but it did not do any good. The lady next door went on singing. She sang higher and louder than ever. When the leader got there, he had Harry's family with him. Harry gave the stick back. Uh-oh. That night, he slept in the doghouse again. The contest. I didn't know this book had so many chapters. A few nights after that, the family took Harry to the park. They were going to hear the fireman's band. The family knew that Harry liked the big horn. They got to the park and sat down. A light shone on the stage. The people were quiet. They waited for the music to begin. Harry closed his eyes and listened. He waited for the big horn. He waited for the soft, low notes. But the low note never came. Instead, a man came out. Good evening, friends, he said. The band will not play tonight. The big horn player is all out of breath. Instead, we shall have a singing contest, and here are the ladies who will sing. Oh, brother. Everyone clapping, the ladies came out. On the end of the line was the lady next door. Harry took one look and ran off. I am out of here. He was almost at the park when he heard something blurp, blurp, blurp. It was a low, it was low and beautiful. I wonder what it is. Harry stopped and listened. It was even softer and lower than the cows and the big horn. He wished the lady next door would sing like this. What is it? Then he saw where the sound came from. It came from inside a watering can. Harry had an idea. What could it be? He took the handle of the can in his mouth and he ran away with it. When he got back to the bandstand, he walked quietly up the stairs. The lady next door was singing. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Harry put the watering can on the floor behind her. Hm. Soon the lady sang a very high note. Then something happened. Two frogs jumped out of the can. One jumped on the lady's head, the other jumped on her shoulder. The other ladies in the contest shrieked and ran from the stage. Ah! Oh my word, frogs, run away! But the lady next door went on singing. She sang higher and louder than ever. Look, she's got one on her head. When she finished her song, everyone shouted, hooray! The judges whispered together. Then one of them spoke. Ladies and gentlemen, he said, the other ladies in the contest have all gone home. 
So the lady next door wins the singing contest. She is a brave lady. She wins first prize. It means she can study music in a far off country for a long time. Ooh, that's going to make Harry excited. Everyone clapped and clapped. Harry barked and barked. He was the happiest of all. In the middle of all the fuss, the frogs hopped home. They jumped in the water and lived with Happy the Snapping Turtle. Ta -da. Soon they came, soon the time came for the lady next door to go away. Harry went to the ship with the family to see her off. Goodbye, Harry. We got all. Goodbye, goodbye, everyone shouted. Harry wagged his tail. Goodbye, see you later. The lady next door started to sing. Let's get a good picture here. Oops, sorry, let's see. It's not working out too good. Figaro, Figaro. But no one ever heard her. Just as she sang the first note, the ship blew its foghorn. It was a deep, low, wonderful sound. As the ship moved away from the dock, other boats blew their foghorns too. Harry thought it was the most beautiful goodbye song he had ever heard. Figaro, 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 Figaro. The end. Well, that's all for now. I'm going to load it on YouTube, and hopefully you'll watch it later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.